name is Natalie, and I work here at the Grundy Museum as a docent. I also work on the grounds, and today we're going to be talking about the sycamore trees behind me. I absolutely love these trees. They are approximately 227 years old. I'm standing here underneath one of our sycamore legacy trees, and when the Grundy family moved in in 1885, these trees actually would have been right on the river's edge. When the library was being built and finally opened in 1966, part of the renovations was to extend the grounds out and build a seawall. If these legacy trees wouldn't have been here in the pre-colonial era, sycamore trees are native to this area and there are lots of ground that would have been available for Native Americans during that time. They were a very popular tree to use to make canoes out of due to them being not a super soft wood but not hard either, so it was, in be it was an in-between wood that would have been good for burnout canoe style making. So these sycamore trees have really unique bark, so it will actually fall out off as the tree grows to allow room for the trunk to expand. Now, Native American people would have collected this bark and used it to make a tea for various medical purposes. And as you can see, underneath this bark, there's some really nice white coloring on the tree. And this is most evident in the winter when majority of the bark will fall off and you can see the gorgeous silhouette of the tree along the skyline. Our sycamore trees are located along the Delaware River. And this is fairly common considering sycamore trees are normally found along bodies of water such as lakes and rivers because they can tolerate saturated soil and occasional flooding. Optimal seed production happens between 50 and 200 years of age. Due to our sycamore's age, they do not produce as many seeds as a younger sycamore would. One question that I get a lot in the springtime is, are the trees sick? They may look different because they don't create as many leaves as most trees that time of year, but that's very normal for our trees. Due to their age, they're inherently prone to something called sycamore anthracnose, and this is a fungus that will grow on the leaves in colder weather. Once the weather warms up, the fungus dies and the trees are able to create and maintain leaves. This is an extremely normal process and does not harm the trees in any way. Thanks for watching and we hope you'll come visit the museum and explore our beautiful grounds located along the Delaware River.